okay so hey guys today we have another problem and the problem's name is bitwise and of number range and it's very simple problem so just go through it given a range m command will be given a range of uh, two integers okay m and n and return the bitwise and of all number in this range so we need to do the and operation of each number in this range and we have to return what is the answer so suppose the input is 5 and 7 we will firstly do the and operation of 5 and 6 then we will do the and operation of that result with 7 and our answer is 4 in this case similarly in the second uh, in the second example it is 0 and 1 so the range in this range only two elements are there 0 and 1 so doing and operation of those will result 0 so how are we going to do this let's just uh, jump on to the explanation part first and then we'll code the solution so i have taken uh, these two examples through which uh, we'll be uh, looking at how are we going to solve uh, how are we going to solve this so on my left is the example that was given to us so let us take this first 5 is written as this and 7 is written as this so this is the range the higher number is 7 the lower one is 5 so we need to find the and of 5 6 and 7 6 is included in that range so we need to uh, take the and operation of 5 6 and 7 and then return the answer so if i do and operation of 5 with 6 6 is written as this in binary if you do and operation 0 and 1 you will get 0 0 and 1 you will get 0 and this this is the result of 5 and 6 and now you do the and operation of this with 7 so this so this will be our answer that is 4 and that was what given to us but if i ask you this question do we need to check each and every bit do we have to consider each and every bit in this problem like do we have to do and operation of each and every bit like these three bits the answer is no why because if you look closely at this solution you will find that up till this the left if you see this this column the bits remains unchanged okay till this point the bits remain unchanged and after that the and operation of the changing bits gave us zero so these two bits were changing as you can see and in the answer the changing bits are zero and this is the unchanged bit so this is what our approach will be what we will find from we will find uh, we'll go from left and we'll find the first unmatched bit and we'll rep replace it from zero till the last I, it might sound a bit confusing but let us see the second example and things will be clear suppose m is 8 here and n is 11 okay so between 8 and 11 what number comes 9 okay so I'll rewrite 9 10 and 11 so look in this case the bits are not not changing up till here so you can see that these two bits never changes so in our answer if you do and operation of all of these you will get the same bits so we don't need to do and operation of these two bits and we can save our time complexity okay that is what happening in this case and you can see the changing bits if you do and operation of all these you will get 0 and 0 and it is uh, the case with every solution every case it will be the same what you what we have to search for is the first unmatched bit of m and n m was one double uh, triple zero and n was sorry this so if we start from left the first unmatched bit was here this was our first unmatched bit so what we will do in our solution we'll simply we'll simply convert it to 0 and 0 after we encounter the first unmatched bit from the left okay so in our answers the uh, bits that will be same will be till here and after that as soon as we encounter the first unmatched bit 
we'll simply append zeros to this okay so this is how we are going to do this problem and how we will be doing this by the use of two operators these are the two operators this is known as the left shift operator okay left shift operator and this is the right shift operator so what uh, these operators do first of all let us see the left shift operator okay so suppose we have n and that is equals to 1 okay so if i apply left shift operator of 2n if suppose i write n is n is n and left shift by one bit so what it will simply do it will shift the bit to left and n will be this now you can see that earlier one was here now the one is shifted by one bit so this is n and if i apply a right shift suppose n is if i this is the right shift operator if i do a right shift operation on n so n will be zero now why because earlier n was one i shifted the i shifted the one to the right and it basically deletes the rightmost bit okay so n is zero now so using these two operators we will solve this and i'll tell you how these i will use these operators in order to check the first unmatched bit let us see that first so this is how are we going to do this problem on my right i have written the small pseudo code that we will be following okay these are the two numbers and i'll uh, we'll dry run this okay how we uh, this will be solved so this is m and this is n and this loop will run while m and n uh, are not equal both of the numbers okay so just let's go through this loop first what i have done i have done a right shift operator on m so if you do a right shift operator on an m what will you get you'll get 10 the rightmost bit will get deleted so this is when we did a right shift operator on m we'll get this and if you do a right shift operator on n you will get this so after this i ha i have incremented i so suppose this is the i variable i will be 1 now okay now the uh, we'll again go back to this condition it will check whether m is equal whether m is not equal to n yes it is true m is not equal to n as you can see bits are different so it will run again and again again right shift operator is there on m and n so if you do right shift on these two the rightmost bit will get deleted and this will be the uh, this will be m and n after right shift operator and after that incrementation of i so i is 2 now and again we'll check the condition if m is not equal to n no m and n are equal now you can see that both are one so the we'll exit from this loop and finally i have returned n left shift operator i and value of i is 2 so i have returned this so what will be uh, what i have returned is basically we can see that the value in n is 1 so 1 and i have shifted this 1 by 2 bits so what does that mean this i have returned simply this and this is 4 so what i have basically done is i uh, this code is simply for checking the unmatched bit only we can see that the unmatched bit is here so what i have done is i have simply calculated the value of i from here the we, we can see that the second bit is the unmatched bit so the value of i is 2 and what i have told earlier is we'll simply put zero still that value so zero of the i we have simply put zero in these two places and the first bit is the same so that is how we are going to use the left shift and right shift operator in this case and this will be our code so let's just simply code it so let's just quickly code the solution we had taken a variable i okay that will have a count of the first unmatched bit okay and after that we had a loop while m is not equal to n 
inside that there were two right shift operators m is m right shift by one and n is sorry, n is equal to n right shift by one and after each and every iteration i'll simply increment i and at last we will simply return n left shift by i so that was what we did let's just simply run it okay basic test cases are finished submitting it okay so accept it so it was small and easy code just the understanding was difficult i hope you get the solution and i see you in the next video